It's always rude to force your own un, your own ideals onto people. And look at this dude. Apparently, this is Morgana. Morgana is not a cat anymore. He is a tall man-child thingy. It's me. I discovered something that I called Yoshi's hours on tops to see what I learned. They believe she's been at a training camp since yesterday. To think, Maroki really is changing our physical reality as she sees fit. As he sees fit. That's scary. No kidding. This is the first time I've witnessed a power that even comes close to this ma uh, magnitude. Even the, f even the great Phantom Thieves you're so proud of fell in line with his scheme. You're going to see if you can change their minds, aren't you? Well, fine. I suppose we can use the manpower. If you can actually bring them to their senses, that is. That's wholly dependent on whether or not they're capable of leaving the reality they supposedly wish for. I'll focus on investigating Maroki further. You do what you need to do. Got it. Well, I'll reach out to you should anything come up. Good night. Was that a catchy? You two seem to be getting along well lately. Hey, so I was thinking, why don't us Phantom Thieves go out, um, all go to a hot spring together sometime? Then Lady Ana and I can. <laughs> How's that sound? Perfect, right? We should ask the rest of the gang soon. Rather than explain it with words, I'd like to actually see this new reality with my, um, with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it. Kumuzaki Senpai. Oh yeah, I changed my last name from 89 to Kumuzaki in the second playthrough. All right, we ought to hit the hay for then. So if you keep saying Kumazaki and not 89, it's because I had it changed. Oh well, I'll just start sleeping on the sofa instead. Are you happy? Huh? Where's this coming from? Well, yeah, I'd say I'm happy. Do you like this reality? Like, like reality? Well, it is the one we fought for with everyone else, so... Wait, what did I mean by... That doesn't seem right. I got captured in Kamoshida's palace, and that's when I met you guys. When we'd go to Mementos, I'd transform into a... Keep thinking it through. Isn't this Flatfest this weekend, right? Uh, no, Team Mayonnaise, sir. It's this weekend, right? Team Mayonnaise. What are you, what are you talking about, man? What, what, what are you doing? Ew. I mean, ketchup is great, but uh, it's mayonnaise. Sorry, chat. My uh, my boss from my hotel just sent me a message, letting me know that they're still operating at low. Uh, workforce because occupancy has it hasn't gotten any better. Oh mayo, yeah. Psh, psh. Ketchup will be nothing without mayo, man. What's wrong with you? It should have been mayo and bar. Or it should have been ketchup versus barbecue sauce, though. That should have been the battle. Team ketchup or team barbecue sauce? Oh my God, you didn't, Shiho. It's all thanks to you supporting me. I, I really appreciate it. Aw, I'm not the one who deserves the credit. You kept up with your um, best effort, and now you're finally being recognized. Hmm? Roshi, I can't believe it. Over here. Talk about a coincidence. It's been a while since the last time you saw Shiho, right? Um... Long time no see, um, Kumozaki-kun. Do you remember me? Shizu, um, Shiho Suzui, right? <laughs> wow, you remember me. We didn't even get to talk all that much since I transferred to another school so early in the semester. <laughs> Of course he remembers you. He has to remember. But with the bragging, I've been um, told him all about how amazing my BFF is at volleyball. Oh, eh. All on. Sorry, you have to put up all that, Kumazaki-kun. Um. Shiho was the MVP at the big meet the other day, too. Not only was she in the starting lineup, but she scored more points than anybody else. No wonder she's the star of the team. I'm just so proud of you, Shiho. Jeez. Oh, you're too much. The two of them are beaming with joy. Seems this reality is the one that An wished for. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Shiho's coming back to our school. Everyone in volleyball knows that Shujin's the top school when it comes to the sport. 
that's how I was able to convince my parents to let me transfer back after more than a little begging. I was so sad when she transferred um, for her parents' job, but it's all, um, but all's well that ends well. I feel like everything's just perfect. By the way, Chef, let me know when you are available um, to hand, um, send me those tickets. Um, I'll join, I'll open up my system so that you can, uh, my island so that you can uh, bring them to me. I don't think you can mail them, so I think you have to actually bring them. I can pay you for them too. Are, are you happy with Shiho now? Um, or is it everything you wished for? Mm hmm? Huh? What I wish for? Well, I guess you could say so. Do you prefer things this way? This way? I mean, both you and Shiho are here, and everything's going great. It's definitely better than the alternative, like when we... Wait. Huh? I... But... Something is... I remember being so cornered that I just wanted to die. But then I met everyone and... I'll be waiting for you. Um... What does that... Shio's still alive even after all the things that made her want to die. You have no right to run from this. Huh? huh? I just... An, what's wrong? Are you okay? Oh, um, I'm fine. I think I'm just feeling a bit tired. Why don't we go find some place to sit and relax for a bit? Sorry! Sorry, Boshi. I'll call you later. Bye! See you, Kumazaki-kun. I kind of wish they had voiced that. Like, that seemed like the perfect time for them to add some voice into it. Seems that like, seems this is all I have to do for um, at the moment. I guess I should head home. Another trip straight to the house, huh? Do 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 do. Ba do ba do ba do ba do ba. just doing a bit of shopping but soon we're going to celebrate our dad receiving a superintendent general award wait a minute and your dad dead your dad is come on Makoto you don't need to raise your voice over it remember remember dad telling you earlier to just act like it's no big deal I'm sorry I couldn't help it I'm just so thrilled for him it's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserves you're correct well, I do feel the same way. So what groceries do we need to pick up before we head home? I wonder what Dad would like me to cook. I made eggplant miso soup for your birthday. You had fried mackerel on yours, right? I can still remember how you pestered Dad about it until he cooked it for you. Hey! Sis! I didn't pester him. He asked, um, he asked me what I wanted to eat for my birthday. The two of them are beaming with joy. It seems this reality is the one that Makoto wished for. That reminds me. That reminds me. Roshi, what brings you out here? Sorry to keep you like this, by the way. I came to see you. Me? Is something the matter? You seem very happy. Do you think? Huh? Yes, you think so? You inside getting along? Yes, just as well as always. Even when she's busy at work, she always um, has my back. I couldn't thank her enough for all the... No, but... Wait. Something's wrong. Mom died, so Dad raised us alone. And sis, I'll be waiting for you. Huh? Uh, no, this is not post-game content. Um, so the way this works for Persona 5, um, the Royal, you have there's two different endings you can get. There's the original ending, and then there's the true ending. The original ending is what you get if by some chance you happen to miss certain um, requirements in the um, in your playthrough. Um, all the requirements you need to get the true ending are based off of your, conf your confidants. You have to get certain people's confidants to a certain point 
um, before the end of the, the normal playthrough. Um, I believe it's November 18th is the date in game that you have to get these certain people's confidants to a specific level. Um, if you can't get them to that level by this time, then you basically lock yourself out of everything that would happen after that date um, in Persona 5 The Royal. At November 18th, if you haven't done what you're supposed to do by that time, the game proceeds as if you were playing Persona 5, the original Persona 5. But if you did do the stuff by that date, then it proceeds as if you were playing Persona 5 The Royal. I don't know if that made sense. So essentially when I f did the original Let's Play on stream, I got the original ending because I didn't hit those checkpoints that I need to hit. So the game proceeded as if I was just playing Persona 5. Um, and I had no idea that, you know, the Royal was locked behind those specific checkpoints. And so I looked it up after I, you know, beat the game. I was like, oh, come to find out one of the people that I pretty much ignored the whole playthrough turned out to be the person that you needed to play through and, you know, to deal with him or deal with that person consistently in order to get the rest of the story. I was like, ah, of course. So I had, I, I did a new game plus and folk made sure to focus on that one person so that I can unlock the rest of the gameplay. So dumb. I mean, I guess at this point we're we're in the spoiler territory. So, yeah, I had so the doctor, one of the new additions in Persona 5: The Royal, um, Dr. Maruki, um, becomes a counselor at the school, and you have to reach, I think, max confidant level with him before November 18th, which is the last day that he's at your school. Um, so it's the last day you can talk to him. You have to max him out before that day or on by that day. Otherwise, you won't be able to continue on with the rest of the story and the story becomes Persona 5 and not Persona 5 The Royal. Um, so currently right now, since I maxed him out, we are in a situation where he has done something to the world where He's basically mind controlling everybody to have them think whatever it is he wants them to think. Um, he's not doing any harm by it. He's uh, technically making everybody's reality the reality they had hoped for, um, but it's not the right reality. It's not the real reality. It's not what actually happened. So we're all stuck in this phantasmal world, so to speak, w within our mind. I just... Makoto, what's wrong? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's nothing. Sorry, Broshi. We have more um we have more shopping to do. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. We'll chat again soon. By the way, how's it going, Infuriated? How you feeling? Seems all I can do now is wait. I guess you should head home. Yeah, this first seven days it seems like I'm only able to talk to my friends and make sure everybody's aware so waiting for him to reply respond to that Makoto seemed happy being able to spend time with both her father and sister but is this truly how things should be well no technically in our true reality her father's dead so Whoa, 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 you mean you got scouted for that college? Uh, by that college? Pipe down, stupid. It's not for sure or nothing yet. Anyway, I'm just saying, the school's gotten word or, some, or something like that. Still, that rules. You even made it out, um, made it onto the podium at Nationals, too. I was worried about what would happen after you screwed up your knee, but I'm glad you were able to bounce back. No way, man. Oh, you're still jumping the gun with this. I'm just trying my best so I don't get laughed off the team by you guys. Ryuji is laughing happy with the other members of the track team. It seems this reality is the one that Ryuji wished for. Hmm? Roshi, what are you doing here? It's still winter break. Oh, maybe he stopped by to congratulate you two as well. Man, someone sure is popular. Is there anywhere you want to go eat after practice? It's our treat today. Oh, ooh, that sounds nice. Um, um, that's nice of you guys. How about an extra large beef ball and some pork miso soup? Beef ball sounds great right now, actually. 
Hey, why don't you come with this, Boshi? Happy you can run now? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, of course, but what's up all the, what's up all of a sudden? Do you like this reality? What? Do I like it? <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, I guess I did have a hell of a lot of growing last year. Uh, I guess I did do a hell of, hell of a lot of growing last year. If it weren't for um all that, I'd be a totally different person now. Wait, what? Ain't something wrong here? How did you know? How do we know each other anyhow? First, first we met in front of the station by by school, then. I'll be waiting for you. Huh? Huh? Sure. It's not over. Uh, um, it's now or never. Whoa! Whoa! The hell was that? You okay, Sakamoto? Or Sakamoto? Yeah. What happened to you guys at the station? Uh, nothing. See ya. Sorry, I gotta get back to practice. See ya. Okay, that was weird. But it looks like Ryuji's starting to uh, remember some stuff some about some things. Ryuji seems sincerely happy about being able to run his fellow um, with his fellow track team. But this is truly how things should be. I should check up on one Haru spotted. The amount of pedestrian traffic here is well within our uh, well within our threshold. This would make a fine location for a new store. Yes. I agree. The research says this community is most interested in high quality ingredients and modern store design. Perhaps this location should focus more on organic produce and a simple but elegant interior. My. Oh, Roshi kun I didn't expect to run into you here. What are you up to? <laughs> I'm helping out my father today. We're here to inspect a potential site for a new company store. Is this a, new, is this a friend of yours? Yes. He's been a wonderful friend to me. He's an upperclassman at my school. Oh, ho! To think you've had a male friend, Haru. Or are you truly just friends? Wait! Jeez, father, don't jump to conclusions like that. <laughs> Calm down, Haru. I was merely teasing. But still, were, were such a man to appear in your life, make sure you tell me right away, understand? <laughs> oh, father, is that jealousy I'm detecting? It's been quite some time since I last saw Haru like this. You must truly be a wonderful friend to her. Please keep being as good as her, um, good to her as you have been. For all, after all, my daughter's happiness is my own happiness. Father, oh, would you care to do something together, Roshi Kun? We have a bit of free time, so we could grab a coffee or something. He's a great father, isn't he? Thank you. Yes, he is. Thank you. Although, he can be a bit overprotective at times, but he's honest and caring. He really is my ideal father. Has your dream come true? My dream? Oh no, I wouldn't call my life anything so dr um, I wouldn't call my life anything so drastic. After all, I've been so busy lately that I can barely handle what's on my plate, so... Um. Wait, I just... I know you'll get through this. Mm. Oh, okay. What happiness can be found through prof um, profit gained by crushing the hearts of others? Excuse me? What? That just now. That was. Haru, what's the matter? Ah, uh, nothing, father. Nothing really. You must be getting exhausted after all this survey. Why don't we take a break somewhere? My apologies for cutting this short. I do hope we'll have the chance to speak more in the future. Until next time. Seems all I can do now is wait. 
I can't believe they all allowed themselves to get uh, tricked so easily, though. I have to talk to one more person, and then I'm supposed to go give my answers to Maruki. What a coincidence. Hey, look, it's Sayuri, but it's completed. Ah, so you, you, um, ah, you came, Broshi. I was just thinking, um, about contacting you. Take a look. My mother's painting is finally receiving the public attention that it deserves. It's on display for this week only, so I'm glad we have this chance to view it together. <laughs> I am truly blessed. I've waited so long to see this painting. Here. My drive to create a masterpiece of this caliber grows stronger every day. But thanks to my sensei's patronage, each day also brings me closer to painting such an impactful work. Nothing in the world could make me happier than I am at the moment. Whose patronage was that? Patronage was that? Why my sensei, of course, Madarame. Even after mother's passing, sensei never stopped advocating her work to the public. Not only that, he took me in and cared for me when I lost my only family. I truly cannot thank him enough. Uh, but your sensei is a bad guy. Ah, I just had a wonderful idea. Why don't you come join us for dinner? Sensei's been very interested in meeting you. Don't worry, he'll even pay for the meal. Has Madarame has yes. been a good sensei? Yes, I'd say so. But what's this out of, um, what's this about? So out of the blue. The Sayuri looks great there. The Sayuri? That's not the that, that's not the painting's name. No wait, that seems something's not right. I have faith in you. I What is could I be making the same mistakes as I did before? To think that this painting was the source of Madarami's distorted desires. The only saving grace is that my mother was uh, won't know of what transpired. Roshi, hi. My apologies. Actually, I'm sorry, but I'd like to be alone for now. Seems all I can do is wait. I guess we should head home. Akihabara right there. I need to go there. Yusuke seemed happy about his mother's work. Sayuri being recognized as a work of art. But this is truly how things should be. I should check up on the other members tomorrow. There's only one member left, so two will be counting the cat. Futabo, her mother, oh, man. and Daddy Sojiro. Hold there, Futaba. I mean, Futaba. I thought you just came here to buy a video game, but, but, can you feel it? All the limited editions and the gaming gear. It's the store's fault for being a one-stop shop, a one-stop shopping emporium for gamers. So, mom. No, ma'am. Do you think I get supplemental grants with nothing but puppy dog eyes? Motion for additional funding? Denied. <laughs> My case was dismissed. Mm, Broshi. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Look who stumbled into us. Come on, hurry up and pick something already. You still want to get lunch after this, right? We can take him too now. Oh, what a wonder, what a thoughtful gentleman. Hear that, Futaba? Um, I mean, Futaba? Sojiro's gonna treat us all to lunch. Hey, don't go putting words in my mouth. Really? Really? Then back to LeBlanc. I mean, LeBlanc. People, it's curry time. Huh? You eat it, you eat that all the time, though. That's because it's the best. You really can't get enough of that curry, can you? Futaba, I mean Futaba, I mean, she does have a point. <laughs> Thanks for the glow, um, glowing review. The three of them are all smiling at each other. Seems this reality is the one that Futaba wished for. Sound good, Broshi? I know you know how awesome Sojiro's curry is. It goes great with, it, uh, with his coffee. Yeah, Sojiro made it for exactly that reason, and mom helped to improve its, its flavor too. Mm. Huh? Something's not. 
Isn't this like a beautiful dream? What's that supposed to mean? What are you getting at? Is it a dream? No, but You can figure this out. Huh? I still don't get it. Come on, why won't you just tell me? I won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. And yet, here you are being distorted <sighs> again. What was that? Are you alright? You two are getting a bit weird. Could this be a case of raging hormones? Look how serious they've both gotten. I'm okay. Um, it's nothing. Let's go, Mom. The curry can't wait. Bro, she's still got stuff to do, I assume. Well, see ya. Huh? Hey, Futaba, don't just take off like that. Time to head home. Huh? Oh, well, we're gonna head on back. Come by for some grub when you're done with whatever it is you're doing. So, yes, sir. It seems all I can do now is wait. Guess I should head home. I'm not gonna get any of that grub that you're talking about either. It's me. I've uncovered a few things in my investigation this week. So I thought I'd share my findings with you. First, by Ryan Maruki himself. He's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. You already knew about that, correct? Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And as you know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off, and his research was ended for him. It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? For example, maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Anyway, that's all I could dig up about Maruki's history. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. About the reality Maruki's put us in. It seems that Takumura and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. They're not dead anymore? They aren't mere illusions or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. But they were dead. In fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. And the Phantom Thieves? They seem to have been causing a stir in society, just like in our original reality. But Shido alone was arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. Basically, in this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. I Yay, don't understand I'm a free man. how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions, and rather convenient ones. Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. I refuse to live like that. I'll be the one to choose my path. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. But what about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. I see. I pray your answer doesn't change when we face Maruki tomorrow. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. It's ready. See you soon.
Are you going somewhere tomorrow? With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Hey, so, about what you said before, you know, that stuff about my happiness? Sorry, it's nothing. Good night. Well, it's not nothing. You wanted to talk about it, right? So, you came. Of course I did. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. <laughs> I'm sure they'll come around. Oh, yes. Because I'm sure you're all just as close as you were before reality was changed. <laughs> well, there's oh, no yes. point in sure griping about just it as out close here. As you were. Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. Ace Moments, what's up? Yeah, Akechi is a... Uh... He's an interesting person when he... When he's being complete super shadow Akechi. How about this? What's up Ace Moments, how you been? You ready for that uh, Ultra Instinct Goku? Have you been using him yet? Now, let us depart. Excuse me, is uh. Whoa. When you beat the game, you uh, get a surprise? Hey guys. It looks like we've all had the same idea. Are you here to speak with him as well? Uh, kinda. So, he's not here? He left around noon. Said he was meeting up with Akechi. Sojiro said if we need to talk about stuff, we can use this place for a while. Cool. You know... Just got done with your stream playing him? Day, something along the lines of whether or not I'm okay with how things are. At first I didn't know what he was talking about, but as he kept going, his words started making my chest feel all... tight. I know what you mean. And ever since then, it's like... Like something isn't right in my heart anymore. I have no complaints about my current life. Basically. On the contrary, in fact. I am truly happy with it. So, in that case... What is this inkling of a feeling I have deep in right my soul? Right now, we're trying to save, uh... <sighs> what, um... We're trying to save Sumire <sighs> from... Damn it. I'm so bad at figuring Sumire out this Sumire from, uh... Um, Dr. Maruki. Hey, do you think maybe we're all running away from something super important? I've been kind of wondering for a while now. And everybody's checking his cognition. The reason his hurt so much is because he's right. But I was too scared to admit that for some reason. That's why I pretended I didn't understand what he meant. When I was speaking with him, I felt like I caught a glimpse of this mysterious sight. Something that shouldn't have happened, but still, I felt like I should. This one was the part, of the cause of your 17 hours, half hour Same stream. Ah, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then. myself as well. I heard it was pretty long. It seems that we really have lost sight of something precious to us after all. That might be, but but I'm so scared to remember what it is. If I remember that, I feel like my life as I know it is gonna end. Usutaba. But even still, I don't want to feel this way anymore either. Me too. I guess that's it, huh? He was trying to tell us all something important, and I bet he's playing around with OP still personas it somewhere. He I mean, that's that now. I'm um, just so I can keep running from whatever it is. When I had that strange experience you all mentioned, I saw him and the rest of us there together. I want to believe the connection we share here is a genuine one. Well, I know if we don't do something soon, we're gonna lose our connection with him. Don't ask how I know. It just feels like the truth to me. Smart. I admit I am happy right now, but I just can't accept the situation as it is. I'm done with trying to escape my problems. There you go. Oh, huh? what was that? The glass just shattered? 
Hey, Morgana's a cat again! Yo, this place looks... weird. Well... Well, let's, let's figure it out. Well, um, let's figure out where Marky is first. I don't want to waste any time wandering around aimlessly. We encountered an information guide after going up that elevator. If he intends to welcome us in so graciously, perhaps we'll come across another guy too. <laughs> ah, before I forget, I suspect the battles are going to get even tougher from here on out, due to our lack of if manpower. Focus focusing on our own abilities is fine and all, but depending on the situation, it'd be more effective to team up. The combination move we pulled off before, that wasn't half bad. All right. Roshi and Akechi Showtime has been unlocked. I wonder if I get a Showtime with Tsumure. Oh, I have to actually walk back in. I can't go to the uh, save room. Question mark entrance hall. Time we're just gonna take the the walk back through path. I think it was somewhere over, uh, around here. VIP patients identified. We will now begin the grand tour. The auditorium is now open. The master awaits you there with the patient you seek. Please enter through the door on the left hand side of the entrance hall. Hmm. Just as I thought, they're politely informing of, um, us of their location. That. Um, that must be the door. Let's go. Yo, this is straight up Kingdom Hearts 2. Show me your true form. I think it was like the cave rem remembrance or something like that. Let's go. If I did that, it'd probably kill them all. Mazio died. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Mazio died. Hopefully, it doesn't kill him off. Okay, good. Oh, one of them's still up. Uh, can I just kill that one? They're an even match for us, so don't mess up too much. You're done. Joker took one down. I gotta keep up. Oh, it's not his weakness. Darn it. Persona. Ah, well, guess I just have to kill him. Persona. I wanted to capture one of the teddy bears, but apparently that's not on the, the cards. Wait, she's not dead? <clears throat> Brain shake. Let's do this. Let's do this, Joker. Sure, why not? Come on. Did I beat any secret boss? Just what do you mean? After all. Are you talking about the fight between the tens? There seems to be a treasure chest. Um, I only knew about the fight between the twins. I didn't beat them. I didn't do that fight, unfortunately. Um, there's all, there was also a couple of ones that were, you know, DLC or something like that. I'll reveal your truth. But I haven't done any of those fights, no. We have the element of surprise. They're an even match for us, so don't mess up too much. Go down. You don't count those? Then, no, I haven't done it. 
Found his weakness. That's not what I wanted to do. Oops, my bad. Yeah, it's my new game plus. That's not right. And at this point, I, I yeah. And I don't think I can uh. I don't think I can go back and fight the twins anymore since they don't exist. All right. Okay, let's hurry ahead. The cognitive effects are weakening. Hey. It's a safe. I should write something. Yeah, this is my original save file here. This is my new game plus. So I was crazy when I done 91% um, completion for the uh, field personas. Filed personas. I don't even know what my my completion is now for that. Let us depart. They told me just to walk up in here and then they sick monsters or shadows at me. Hmm. Oh, I beat the Reaper. Yeah. Uh, and you know, he kind of only did one combination. He kept doing concentrate, Megadola. Concentrate, Thank Megadola. Concentrate, Megadola. I'm like, oh, come on, dude. But do the Reapers reap? Uh, maybe. How's it going, um, Snorlax? Welcome back. You were using Alice? I still haven't figured out how to make Alice. It says that I've unlocked her, but I still can't figure out how exactly do I, you know, fuse her. What's wrong with Simon? She's only sleeping. I've never had any intention of hurting her. Once her inner turmoil begins set to now? settle, I'll have her remember her life as she wishes to live it. The life that she wishes for, huh? What like it like. doesn't show up You're in my uh people for your own satisfaction. Oh, so it's not an advanced fusion? I'm fully aware that some will interpret my acts that way. But if that self-satisfaction leads to the happiness of thousands of others, don't you agree that outcome is for the best? If I understand correctly, you, you also use Lucifer this past week. Um, I this turned Lucifer into Satanile, so wished for. Did any of them seem troubled by that fact? Oh, it this isn't an advanced one. It's the true. The devil reality. is a part timer. All you have to do. I love that anime. That anime, such. actually. Once you do, you'll be just as happy as they are. Didn't you see it yourselves? Your friends don't just want to live these lives; they want you to choose this reality for yourselves and live happily too. You Satan for a while. You, you say it a little. Please, I want you to understand, for their sake, as well as yours. Come on, with the flashbacks. It's time.
If I accept this reality, my friends and I will be able to live happily in this reality he has created. Or so he says, if we stay in this world, we really could lead a happy lives, free from pain and suffering. But our memories will be distorted. To allow for the new circumstances, there's probably no way to avoid that. For the sake of Yoshizawa-san, and the rest of your friends, I ask you to give me your answer. I'll show you my personas after, um, or as soon as this battle starts. The ones I currently have on me, at least. I can't accept this reality. Huh? Hey, what's up, butterfly? seem to have broken down. I see. It seems we still haven't reached an understanding. No. No. You're not serious, right? Please. I'm begging you, senpai. Please, let me live as Kasumi. Don't hide from the truth. But why? This pain is too much. Why can't I just leave it behind me? Kasumi is gone forever. And, and it's all my... All Samira's fault. I can't live that kind of life. Please. Don't try to stop me. If you do, then I'll... Don't do this. How stubborn. No matter what you say to her, I doubt she'll understand. I don't think we have a choice in the matter here. I could take Kinda care of for you right now. But you'd prefer her to leave here alive, right? Just hurry up and end this. Sure. Please, don't make me do this. You don't have to. You're doing this because you want to. I can't stop this. I refuse to live as Kasumi's killer. Please don't do this to me. Come. So, I have, uh, Shiva. I have Shiva, I have uh, Lakshima, and I have her husband uh, Vishnu. Uh, I can't even pronounce this. Saka? <laughs> uh, Ball. There's Vishnu right there. Uh, Kukulin. I, I think I randomly just picked this up and I've been trying to get rid of it. I've been trying to get rid of uh, Dominion, Oberon, and Yamato, Yamata, no Orochi as well. But uh, yeah, Satanile. This is what I've been using right here, Satanile. This isn't it. Um, I forget her weakness. I think it's curse. No, that's not it. Does she have a weakness, actually? Oh no, does that knock me? Wow, it actually could have put me. Stop it, chick. Wow, I actually got dazed. You're mine. Why are Orochimaru? you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Please, just leave me alone. I'm not messing with you. You mess with me. Oh, got me the technical. She dodged it. Why won't you give up? For the same reason why you won't. Please don't do this to me. Are you still fighting? Quit, girl. Why? 
Because this isn't you. And I want the real you back. Looks like you lost. Give me back the real Sumire. Or Sumire. You need to stop. Senpai. No. I can't. I can't go back to being Sumire. Why? You saw it all for yourself, Senpai. It's my own fault that my sisters... Why don't you understand? Please. I beg you. Yoshizawa-san. <laughs> Come on, Yoshizawa-san. Don't feel bad. I can give you strength, so you don't have to suffer. Doctor... Tell me, if you want your pain to end, and desire to live as Kasumi, I'll actualize it! Uh-oh, huh? uh tentacle monsters! It's one of those kind of games, huh? Sadly, she has lost sight of herself. She's in pain. Now, be her guide, and together, escape from the nightmare! No! I don't want to go back to my life in cinders! What the hell? This so called kindness of his disgusts me. Let's do this crank. I refuse to go back! I'm happy She's here. a pain, you think, This Arthur? is where I belong! <laughs> I'll rescue you. The only way I know how. It's gone totally berserk. We need to stop her pursuit. Do, do. Do, do. We'll have to beat it before it heals itself again. And she's just hanging up there in the typical. There. All thunder. Pagan alert. Of course you heat rise. Let's go. Persona. Do I have it still? <laughs> it's gonna be a, a fight of seeing if I can keep the abilities down off of her. Hmm. Um, I don't want to use Riot Gun because I'm afraid Is weakness is this weakness ice? Let's go. Okay. Persona. Ready, Ron? No time for thanks. I will see you. Uh, riot gun. So he's just gonna keep summoning people. Damn it! There's 
no end to this. Just what the hell is this thing? You here to wake up? I refuse to return. I will never go back to being such pathetic, soot-coated garbage! You thought of yourself as soot-coated garbage? You can't tell. It's her refusal to accept the truth. Boom. Boom, boom. Ah, we can't afford to waste time on this shit. You may be right. Here it comes. I don't think so. Damn it, Skull. I told you not to rush in by yourself like that. At least it seemed to work out in our favor. I knew you'd be here. Our apologies for making you wait so long. Is that... A Kechikun and Dr. The crew! Kaki? The cavalry has arrived! By... Boo, Ryuji! Why is persona doing this? What in the world is going on here? Uh, so much of this shit makes no sense. But we'll cover it later. We've got to stop her first. Right, Joker? All right. Let's get in formation. And the good music, too. Okay, guys. Leave the navigation to me. Unbelievable. Why did they come here? For my joy. Out, found their weakness. Oh, I did not get Bonafide, bonafide. Okay. Alright, return us persona change. Satanaya! L. Hit him with the wild thunder! Make sure we get the boost going. We get them bus, the buffs going. Attack, evasion, accuracy, up. Uh, mark, um, defense boost. Makoto got a transformer. Next physical attack does over double the damage for one ally. Just say the word. Should I use Tyrant's Will right now, though? Nah, I don't think I should. We're 
Oh wait, does Showtime work with the Baton Pass? Yo, I hope it works. Showtime. This would be awesome. That's our cue. Ha! Three, four. Do pardon me. Wow, nineteen ten. Do you see that damage? Please. Combination is always bat, um, baton pass into chip down. And if I can max baton pass while chip downing, now my dream won't be. The clock strikes midnight. Give me a second, chat. I'm open my back door. Was doing me a favor. Wild Brushy Fa <laughs> Nope, he returned. Wild Brushy has returned. Oh crap, my controller is dying too. I'm gonna plug that up. Alright, so everybody got a level. I'd like to try this skill soon. Kamu Susana. Kamu Susano. Uh, got Brave Blade. That's colossal physical damage to one foe. I guess I can get rid of Myriad of Slashes. Uh, she gets Psychic Amp. We'll get rid of Psy Boost for it. She's 
stepped forward you've and only, then fell. I can't believe you've thrown away your happiness just to come here and... And how? It's impossible. You're... You're Dr. Maruki, right? <sighs> That's right. More importantly, why are... Dude, what the hell's Doc doing inside a palace? He's ruling this palace is what he's doing. What? Not only that, he's the one who's generated this whole distorted reality. Isn't that right, Maruki-san? All of this was done for your own joy. Was it? Oh, joy. That's right. I only wanted to grant your wishes. Each and every one. Wait, you what? What do you mean? We never wish for anything like this. Is that really true? Huh? No, never mind. So, you all intend to deny the reality I've created for you. If you want to fight me, then so be it. If you plan on changing my heart, that's fine too. Round one, but fight! before that, I think there's still room for discussion here. Also, I believe taking care Train of Yoshizawa-san is host. more important for than settling this issue Train right TV now. For everybody stream, welcome to the stream. You are live with your man Boshi89. We are in the process of finishing up uh, Persona 5 The Royal. Um, we finally able to get to the point where the DLC takes place. Um, keep in mind, spo this is spoiler. This is a spoiler area. If you have not gotten to this part in the game and you want to keep yourselves from being spoiled, I suggest that you don't watch the stream. Uh, maybe move on to a different one. Um, if you don't mind watching it because you don't really care, then by all means, stick around, have fun, enjoy yourself. Also, just in case you guys are on the way, we are going to be hosting a Super Smash Brothers tournament um, on, on Saturday the 30th. Information can be found at the link posted in chat right there. Um, registration is free. Prize, um, prize money will be coming from me directly. Um, for more information, just click on the link. You um, should be able to see everything that you need to know on that page. Um, if you have any other extra questions, though, or further questions, uh, do bring them to me. Um, you can f My contact should be up there, but you could also catch me on my Discord. If you hit uh, ask class, hash, not hashtag, uh, exclamation point Discord in chat, um, it'll give you the Discord information. Um, you'll be able to find me there. We can get back to fighting, if that's what you really want. But I think you're rather exhausted at the moment. Never in the dry <sighs> land. Mm -mm. Yoshizawa-san! There's still time. February 3rd. Mm -hmm. I'll hear your final So we have until... We have a little less than a month before he wants to hear our final our answer. Can't align with mine by then. We'll have no other choice but a physical altercation. As Which means I would loathe that. I still can't give up what I've started. What I swore I'd do. On the day I lost everything that mattered to me. I've lost his reading. I want to pursue him, but I doubt that's even possible right now. No. Nope. Let's get out of here. Yoshizawa's got to rest anyway. Yep. Checkerboard. Psychedelic checkerboard. I'm still just as shocked as I was when we first came here. The navigators return to our devices. A palace is visible in our own reality. Um, does this mean reality's broken right now or something? Something to do with Dr. Maruki, anyway. Hey, how much do you already know about this stuff? So, Dr. Maruki... He altered our reality... to make our dreams come true? This is all too much for me to handle at once. Apologies for the interruption. Mind if I interject? That's right! A catchy! There's no reason to be defensive. <laughs> Had I wished to kill you all, I would have simply done so already. He's 
not Kechi's not our enemy. So you're not here to fight us. I've already put our feud behind me. Not only that. Since he and I both refuse to accept reality as Maruki sees fit to make it, we currently have the same goal. So what you're saying is you're using him. <laughs> what about the rest of you? Considering how you were all living your ideal lives in that other reality, until you decided to come here, Maruki seems to be telling the truth about taking your happiness into consideration. While his heart is distorted, he is quite different from the adults whose hearts you've changed so far. Now that you know his intentions, I'm most interested in learning whether you still plan on fighting him or not. I mean, he doesn't seem like he's a bad you, guy, just I'm up against someone with the power to distort reality as we know it. The more allies on my side, the better. If we all share the same goal, shouldn't we join forces and improve our odds? I mean, he's not wrong. Sumire! I'll be going now. Be sure to consider my point. Hey! Hey! Jeez. Yoshizawa, are you alright? I... Are you okay? Oh, yes. I'm sorry that I caused you all so much trouble. No, no trouble no. at all, my you dear. You don't need to apologize. We should probably go our separate ways for now and discuss it at a better time. Yeah, tomorrow we can... Oh, yeah. Third semester starting up tomorrow, right? I guess we're going back to school, huh? We still don't have any idea what we want to do from here on out, though. We've got time. Maruki said he'll wait until February 3rd before... Let's really think it over before making our decision. We don't have a choice as things are going to get bad. Yo, welcome back. Welcome back! Hmm? Didn't know you guys were out together. We're always Wait, out together. What's wrong, Futaba? <sighs> hey, Sojiro, is Mom... Mom? You mean Wakaba? Well, what about her? Uh, nah, it's nothing. It's just I happen to remember something about her, that's all. I see. Okay, then. So wait, is she dead again? I myself thinking about her earlier, too. Odd coincidence, huh? <gasps> well, I'm gonna head home for the night. How about you, Futaba? Mm, I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. I see. Don't stay out too late, all right? The place is all yours. You've got school tomorrow, too. So get to bed at a reasonable time. Sir, yes, sir. Mom really is gone again. Sojiro sees it that way too now. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you what happened before we came to rescue you. We all ended up here at the same time after you left for Odaiba. They have broken out of their realities. It makes sense things go back to normal. That is correct. What was that? Wait, you're... What the? I'm... Oh yeah, that's right. Why were you human, Mona? Yeah, you're supposed to be a cat! Yeah, was she mad I'm at him for being a human? A... Oh wait, yeah, I guess I am a cat. I am not! Oh, How wait. did we never realize? Yeah, I guess I am a cat. <laughs> you know, we've got more important things to do than sit around here and figure out what happened to us. That's right! You said he was headed to Odaiba, correct? And with Akechi-kun? We need to find them! Once we got to Odaiba, we spotted the palace. You know how the rest goes. You were fighting Surprise, this whole time, weren't to us. you? While I was just bumming around town without a care. I'm sorry. Deep down, I always suspected something strange was happening. Something wrong. But being with my mom was so much fun, I just... I stopped trying to figure it out. <sighs> but I've totally snapped out of it thanks to you. I'm all good now. It's okay if this is painful. Yep, no worries. I'm fine. What? School's 
tomorrow, right? You better not stay up late. You might end up oversleeping. She's clearly sad. I mean, I I would be too. I my dead mom was just today. randomly alive Let's again. Let's try to get some sleep. Granted, my mom's not dead. Thank you, Jesus. They won't let me do it. Oh, I'm back in the velvet room and wearing. It's been quite some time. Gel suit. I'm back in prison. We have finally succeeded in reaching you. These clothes. You have been imprisoned once more. This time, not by the God of Control, but a different entity. One who's bound you through your future. However, you held fast to your free will and believed in your bonds, allowing your friends to regain their own realities. You are on the verge of grasping a potential reality once more. I like to say that. Our meeting again now within this place is proof enough. It seems the time has come. Wait. We are merely beings who provide aid to humans as they carry out their will. You must be the one to determine the path and actions to take. If the will Basically what she's saying is do the work yourself. You, then we will surely meet again. <laughs> Would you join the Phantom Thieves? Lady Lavenza told you that? We ought to tell everyone else that too. Let's all meet up after school. Um, uh, hey, wife to be. Good morning. <sighs> um, I'm sorry. I can't believe what I tried to do to you two. I genuinely cannot apologize enough for what happened. Oh, come on. There's no need for that. More importantly, how have you been? Physically, I'm fine. But mentally, <sighs> to be entirely honest, I'm all mixed up. Are you okay? My memories are still pretty fuzzy and... I haven't really processed everything yet. I'm going to need a little time to myself to think things through. I have to figure out what to do with myself from here on. We have to choose our own path. Eh? Akechi had mentioned that we needed to determine what we'll do from here on out. It seems he was right. We can accept this reality, but... That means we'll have to fight Dr. Maruki, right? Right. That's right. We have to confront Maruki and steal his desire. In a way, it's business as usual for us. Dr. Maruki is an adult with a warped desire. But that desire is just a wish for us all to be happy, right? I admit, it's nothing similar to the desires we've seen in the likes of Shido and Kamoshida. The Phantom Thieves only change the hearts of evildoers. Dr. Maroki is quite different from our past targets. Well, I think we already know what we gotta do. Haru's right. Dr. Maruki ain't a shitty adult at all. There are probably plenty of folks out there living all happy in this reality. Who knows? Maybe Dr. Maroki is actually doing the right thing. But we all still feel like this reality's wrong, right? We decide what's right for ourselves. That's what we all agreed on when we went after him in the palace. If changing Doc's heart fixes our reality, then I'm gonna do it. Uh, so, somebody say something? Uh, sorry, I, I was just thinking about how right you are, Ryuji. So we're going to change our target's Basically, heart not to reform society. Basically, she was thinking, wow, society, Ryuji had something right for once in his life. But the reality what? we believe in. <laughs> that doesn't sound bad at all. Then it's unanimous. Well, I like unanimity. That means our next step is pretty clear. Right. Maruki said that he'd be willing to fight if we are too. It's safe to assume he's expecting us to infiltrate his palace. That reminds me. You know that, uh, uh reality bending stuff? Why is Doc able to do that anyway? I've been wondering the same thing. Even if he was the top cognitive science expert. 
That wouldn't be enough for him to do all of this. If we're going to fight Maruki, we'd better dig up some more intel on him first. Catchy? Good day. Oh no, it's Levenza. This is Levenza speaking. Levenza? Huh? Your will of rebellion has reached new heights. We would like to aid that will, if you find it agreeable. That'd be helpful. Wait, how is she even calling you? And how'd she know how high our wills are? <gasps> Did she tap your line or something? Her timing was just too perfect. Maybe she actually did. I had performed no form of electronic surveillance whatsoever. She heard you. Apparently, she can hear you. There's something I wish to tell you regarding your current situation. However, I'm reaching the limit of my communication ability with this method. Let us meet in person tomorrow. Where? It would be best for me to select a location considered easy to reach by all parties. Therefore, let us convene at your school. At Shujin? Wait, she'll be at the school? Levenza will? In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. She hung up. Is she really gonna go to our school? Just walk through the front gates like nothing? I'm not sure what to make of it. But since we've determined our goal and Levenza's offer to help us, I'd call that progress of some sort. I do too. All we have left is whatever we discuss tomorrow at school, plus whether or not we're going to team up with Akechi. Considering oh boy. what he told us, Bruh, blue lolly really does high seem like oh we share an end goal with Akechi, but... Well, I think we ought to team up. Mm-hmm. Me too. Are you sure? Dr. Maruki's strong enough to change reality itself. If we're gonna fight him, we're gonna need Akechi's help. At least somebody's thinking smart. Plus, if he does betray us again, we'll just take him out too. Wow! I guess that Haru! That. Haru good That's evil now! Tomorrow. I'll take care of figuring out how to get Yusuke and Futaba in the school. I appreciate the effort. Plus, if he does betray us again, We'll just take him out too. <laughs> and she said it with such the sweetest right. voice ever. Let's head home for now. Oh, we'll just kill him as well if he gets in our way. <laughs> You've been awfully busy lately. Don't forget to eat lunch. As for myself, be sure to order some jelly filled bread and. Hmm? That's. Is that a butterfly? It's beautiful. Yeah, it's just fluttering down the hall like a graceful... But wait, that's not my it's point. It's beautiful. Let's follow it. <laughs> just fluttering down the hall like a graceful... Wait, that's not my point. Stalk it. Hey. Making fun of me? You see that? It went to the first floor. I should have sent us there. <sighs> Where on earth is it trying to go? Come on, we gotta follow it for now. Is that Maruki's office? Or I guess his old for office? Real? The nurse's office? What's going on here? Butterfly. Anyway. Looks like the only ones who can see it. And it seems like it has some purpose. There's no point in thinking about that right now. Let's get inside the nurse's office quickly. Lady Lavenza. Hello. Thank you for coming. Sup? What's with the formality? That's odd. I thought humans regularly exchange phrases such as that upon meeting. Perhaps it would have been more appropriate to say, What's up? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Uh, anyway, how about we get this started? 
<laughs> what? Perhaps it would have been more appropriate to say, What's up? What's up? <laughs> I'm sorry, chat. What? As I told you yesterday, That's just hilarious coming from her you, with that voice. But first, what please that? gather your other friends here. That was here? extremely adorable. You want to meet in the nurse's office? This place is filled with the cognition of bed rest. Maintaining my existence in a reality controlled by someone like Maruki is no simple feat. But the exhaustion that it induces is limited by this place's cognition, so I may converse with you all in person here. I... see. What's up? Let us continue this conversation once everyone involved has convened. Until that time, I will provide my eyes a much-needed rest. Wait, rest? Uh, Lady Lavenza? She in bed. She went to sleep. Oh, I guess we should get everyone in here. So you came back at the end of the day. Infiltration success. I'm well, I mean, for Tabla, no you notice of us. look like you belong Considering here. how I don't have an adequate excuse for the school to approve your being here, we're lucky it went as well as it did. As long as you maintain an air of confidence, you can fool just about anybody into thinking you belong. I must say, though, I hadn't expected you to actually reach out to me for something like this. Well, it's just as we said before. We've accepted your offer to work together. Now's not the time to let personal stuff get in the way of our goal. But if you ever betray us again, we'll make sure you regret it. <laughs> All right, then. You it's got no to talk about Haru on, anyway. on your case, man. You better Remember behave. Remember what I told you all before? We share a mutual interest. Until Maruki is defeated, we have a deal to uphold. It appears that everyone's arrived. Does this mean you're ready to begin? Uh, ain't that our line? Care to fill us in? Yes. I wished to speak with you about the circumstances that led this Maruki to alter reality as you know it, as well as the true nature of his power. You know all of that? Well, I is think there will be a degree of speculation involved, but only to a small extent. First, I will explain the situation with the current reality. I believe that Maruki has altered the cognition of the masses. In other words, it's thought that the alterations he's made are the result of his meddling with mementos. He changed mementos? How is that even possible? Isn't he gone though? Wait, <clears throat> don't forget about our experience with the Metanav and Maruki's palace. Seems like this kind of thing has a habit of sticking around despite our expectations. Mementos is the cognition of the masses given form. If that man is truly capable of controlling individuals' cognitions, and that man were also to gain access to mementos, it would be no surprise that he could impact everyone's cognitions and affect reality itself. Makes sense. Uh, <clears throat> could he really have done all that? I mean, it's assumed that Dr. Maruki has the power to control cognition, right? Exactly. That man's controlling of cognition. Let's see. Why don't we refer to his power as actualization? Most likely, that actualization is a power unique to a persona. In other words, this man named Maruki is... He's a, a persona, persona user. user? That's impossible. There's no way to have a persona and a palace at the same time. Determining when Maruki first awakened to his power is wholly impossible. However, by the time he crossed your paths, there's no doubt that he was making use of his actualization, although he may have only been doing so subconsciously. Even if it is just his subconscious, he's using a persona in the real world. So his ability to make Yoshisawa-san think she was Kasumi-chan it was most likely through the use of actualization. Still, though, 
Even if we assume that Maruki has unique persona abilities, such as the case with him and myself, we still need to determine how he used that power on Mementos as a whole, rather than a single individual. Right. Even if there were some kind of power that could affect Mementos, it's on a whole other level from what we've seen so far. A single person just shouldn't be capable of all that. That's true. Changing reality just by thinking about it isn't something humans do. It's something that, like, gods do. <laughs> and what if he became she said such a god? Smart. What? The god of control. Indeed, the being in mementos that you all defeated was a false deity that the masses deludedly clung to. It is easy to conclude that Maruki simply took over the false god's position when it disappeared. Took over his position? What do you mean? So you're saying society thinks of Doc as a god now or something? Now, the Phantom Thieves are the ones who gained the masses' support after defeating this so-called god of control. So it would follow that the masses would turn to the Phantom Thieves next as their savior. In that case, why did they instead turn to Maruki? who did none of the work the Phantom Thieves did. The masses were invested in... Uh, the masses were invested in the Phantom Thieves, not Mario. Wait, you what? 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 what do you mean? We never wish for anything like, like that. Is that really true? true, true. It's most likely because... We wish for it. What? After we defeated the God of Control, we wished for reality to be like Dr. Maruki described it. And it happened? Uh, I don't remember doing any wishing with you guys and Doc. I mean, <laughs> when would we have even had the chance to? <sighs> what about our counseling? Wow, she said something smart again. You go on. Looks like you all walked right into the spider's parlor. There's no way of knowing how many of those situations were intentionally orchestrated by that man. However, the result is still the same. A desire for his actualization was seeded within your hearts. Thus, I have no doubt that it was your own desires that led to their actualization. So this is all our fault, huh? Yeah! Your We're fault, Ryuji! We're the told in the cognitive world really exists, too. I know it's everybody's fault. I'm just gonna blame it on him, though. He has to be stopped. This is our own fault. We've got to be the ones to fix it. Yes. This realization changes none of what we must do. Very well. Then allow me to proceed. This world is in a very unstable condition currently. On the day that the God of Control fused mementos with the real world, the merging was undone through your efforts, and the two worlds are now attempting to return to their initial states. So... What you're saying is this world has reverted to a state where the fusion with Mementos hasn't been totally undone. That explains why Maruki's palace was visible in Odaiba. Even as we speak, Maruki is still influencing this world in places where its boundaries are blurred. As slow blurred as it may be, he still continues to actualize the world of the masses as a whole. Should this continue, reality shall merge with Mementos once more. The two worlds will again become one. When that happens, anyone trapped within the actualized world can never again awaken to the original one. No. This issue goes beyond the masses as well. Although you are all Persona users, it would be next to impossible to defy Maruki in a world completely under his control. To be clear, once the two worlds conclude their fusion, there will be no chance of your success in this mission. 
And I believe this fusion will conclude in one month's time. We only have a month. If memory serves me correctly, February 3rd was the date Dr. Maruki gave us, right? Could he have possibly chosen the time limit based on when his actualization will be completed? It's possible. If that's the case, we don't got another choice except to steal his treasure by then. Pretty we much. We should secure our route to the treasure by the second so we can send our calling card. Then, on the day of, we're most likely going to have to fight Maruki. Allow me to produce the calling card. This is certain to be our final card. I'll pour my heart and soul into its creation. Be that as it may, there are still some unsolved questions. You mean the Medinev? Right. What's the deal with the palace's name? Doesn't seem to affect the app's functions, but... That must also be a product of Maruki's cognition. He most likely learned that you could somehow infiltrate the metaverse. As long as he permits your existence, your method of infiltration will not entirely disappear either. However, in his heart he must have feared you would learn his identity as the palace's ruler. Perhaps such a feeling took the form of hiding the ruler's name from you. But in that case, why didn't Dr. Maruki just actualize us out of existence entirely? Maybe he wants to save us. Maruki told us he wants us to accept his world. It may be hard to believe, but since we mutually benefit from his actualization, maybe he really does want us to submit. Sorry, even if it does fix shit for us, I, I just can't accept the world getting treated like that. Let's start the infiltration tomorrow, yeah? And you? Sound good? You're willing to ask me as well. Duh, dude. The Phantom Thieves don't act unless it's a unanimous vote. Hmm. Fine then. Duh, dude. You know, I have no intention of accepting Maruki's world anyway. Then that settles that. Wait. What about Yoshizawa-san? We may not have summoned her as one of the Phantom Thieves. This definitely involves her as well. Maybe we should fill her in on our situation when she comes to terms with her own. Sounds what good. she does with that information, though, that's up to her. Right. If that concludes matters, I shall continue to watch over you, Trickster. Please show me the path that you choose for humanity. Aha, so she was eavesdropping. You eavesdropping? Little Miss Cutie. I just... Guess we might as well close up for the night. Hey, once you're done washing that, you can go ahead and call it a... Welcome. Hey, it's my darling. Yoshizawa? Have a seat. She's here to see you, right? Uh, don't worry about finishing up. I'll take care of it later. Sorry <clears throat> for coming over so late. And thank you for the coffee. <coughs> it's delicious. Mm. Would you mind if I got something off my chest? Yep, yeah, best Thank wingman. You. He knows exactly what so, to say and when to, to tell say. The truth, <clears throat> I saw you all go into the nurse's office today, and um, I sort of eavesdropped on your conversation. About Maruki? You've all found the paths you want to take, and are following them with such confidence, whereas I'm simply like Dr. Maruki said before. I ran from the truth. I couldn't handle the fact that Kasumi died because of my actions. My memories are still a bit hazy, but even when I remembered that I'm really Sumire, I didn't want to accept it. I was still running from reality, where Kasumi is gone, where I had to live for Kasumi instead of as her. 
Do you still want to run? No. Like I said earlier, I realized something when I saw you all striving to push onward. I can't keep running like this. No, no, you can't. Now that Kasumi's gone, I have no idea what to do with myself. Senpai, what should I do? That run? I know you'll choose well. <sighs> you can be awfully firm sometimes, Senpai, but you're absolutely correct. I must thank you for allowing me to unload all of this onto you. I'm still not completely sure what I should do, but I plan to think more on it. I've got to figure out what to do with my life now. Nothing good ever comes from it, after all. Hmm. Once that date passes, it's over. We all get that, right? Hmm. We'll have to discover a, route, a route by February 2nd, to be more precise. That's another way to look at it. And nice, you actually remembered. Yeah? Of course I did. It wouldn't be a terrible idea to secure our route sooner than, um, rather than later. We must be deliberate. However, we have no idea what's going to happen. Right. Yeah, Dr. Marquis pretty much got the power of God. I doubt anything's going to go smoothly. We'd better not let our guard down. Very well. Let us go. Woo! Checkerboard psychedelic! Oh, it's... She was already here. Hello, everyone. Why are you here? You're going to fight Dr. Maruki, yes? Please, take me with you. Uh, but you can't go in dressed like that. Please, I'm done running away. <laughs> That's not how you get famous. I can't keep relying on people like Senpai. I want to live life as Sumire. <laughs> Color me impressed. Looks like she'll do just fine here. Why well, guy's been banned? Or whoever that was. It's been a while since somebody's been in my chat with uh, viewer bots and whatnot. Looks like uh, she'll do just fine here. Let's do this. Thank you. In that case. We gotta come up with a code name for you. A what now? A what now? <laughs> it would be right if you were the only one what going now? by your real name, you know? Oh, you're right. Joker, got any suggestions? Appetite. <laughs> Let's call her Appetite. We're gonna go Violet. We're not gonna be mean to her. Oh, that's right. Sumire in English is Violet. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Violet. Yes, let's go with that. Excellent. Now remember everyone, Violet, not Violent, Violet. Violet, yes. not Violent, Violet. <laughs> yes, thank you for clarifying. I am surrounded by absolute fools. I'm surrounded by Are we absolute done? fools. We should probably get moving. I know, I know, jeez. Come on, Violet, let's roll. I'm surrounded yeah. by absolute fools. Oh.